Hi there, my dear friends. What's new in the whole universe? Hope everything is fine, and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experience. It is 5:30 a.m. in the morning in Russia, and we do Russian learning lesson. In your country, maybe it is later, maybe it is earlier. Maybe you wake up at 3:30 as a morning bird, as a ranya ptichka in Russian language, and we will learn today through drawing computer things. Computer semantics, computer words that we can use in Russia. We will start with an easy word of a screen. It is in Russia we call monitor. It is here in your country. It is too display. It could be called one moment. Need to have more, <laughs> more opacity. Look, right now we will do this, this, this. It is. Monitor. Monitor. In your country, it is written another way. It will be R on the this side, and also it will be I here. Amazing! It is the the display that we look at. If you want to know how to call a computer, then we have a box. Actually, the box, like this one, it is the Computer, or in Russian, computer. Computer. We can call it in a funny way sometimes. Computer, like this way, with ye pronounced really with strong and rough. It is in a funny way. Sometimes people say, especially in old ages. By the way, it this box could be called. In another way, system block or systemный системный block. Also, computer computer we can call it the combination of display of the display and of the computer, okay, of the system block in Russia. Also, what we have in Russia, it is the processor. It is CPU. We don't call it actually CPU in Russia. Only in technical issues, it is here transistors. Like this way, it will be Intel i5, I think so. And this processor. Okay. Good. Also, right now will be vocabulary that maybe for you it is kind of harder. CPU it is processor in another way, central processing unit. If we will transcribe this acronym and abbreviation. Also, we will go right now to the something harder. If you have your phone, you have something with look. It is this way. This this it is charger. And in your country, but in Russia it is зарядка. Amazing! You, we can use зарядка to make our phone with a better charge, like increasing percentage, growing. Yes, it is percentage. I imagine. And uh, also зарядка in Russian language it is the money routine when we do exercises. It is need to know. It is when you charge your body. Also, we have. Look at this. Look at them. It is something like unexpected, and we have them. It is cables. You maybe don't see these cables. It is kind of like a web, but it is cable. Cables. But I prefer to use провода. Pro, vo, da. It is plural form for several of them. If we use one, then it will be провод. Pro, vod. It is when we have the charge going around. And also, if you will look at the Atoms inside of something, inside of the electronics. Then we have zaryat. 
one in a singular form. It is заряд. In a plural, заряды. И will be on the ending. And here is положительный. Like a positive one. And plus. And it is отрицательный. In a meaning of charge. Good. Also, if you want to make your computer better working, then you can call to the by using telephone. It is I imagine that this telephone new era. Here's the screen or old era. It is the buttons maybe <laughs> old version like the 1990. And here is the an antenna. <laughs> and uh, it is телефон. Телефон. Sometimes, in a jargon way, we call it mobila. Also, we call it smartphone. Mm -hmm. Good. And also, if you need to call to the electricity master, who works with only computers or something related to computers, then this dude with like education <laughs> in computer, like it will be PhD. <laughs> I don't think so that they have PhD, by the way. But uh, okay, he is with computer master experience. It is computer. Yes, I imagine. And he has it, like, it's his hand, it is another hand, and here is his standing, and you need to call to him. It is Computer Master. Computer Computer Master, we can call it. Master. What's the name in your country for this dude, by the way? And also, if you have a something like объявление, look, объявление, it is when we have something like this, and here is the writings, it is the information dashboard when you can use the stick, and kind of here is the number, number of his phone. It is объявление. And sometimes объявление. Information. Information stands. Sometimes we have them on a, on a pillars or maybe on a door. And sometimes there are a lot of charlatans. Don't, don't be so like believable for it. Be kind of accurate, okay? We can say it and be kind of like a suricat. So, with always attention in your mind that who you are calling to. Sometimes these people are working with people who are 65 years old plus and uh, you know that this type of people it is easy to kind of con, okay? Good. Don't use it so much use it only on internet with uh, good kind of requests with good reviews okay and also in russia we have one more thing if you want to use your computer you need a, this tool it is a writing tool by the way here is the erase i think so it is v S A D. Okay, you maybe already know what is it. It is keyboard. In Russian, it is клавиатура. Клавиатура. And by the way, keyboard, you can call it in your country. By keyboard, you can call it a piano. But in Russia, piano actually, 
if we call it in this way, like keyboard, not a piano, yes? I imagine that this piano. One, two, three. Yes, this kind of piano and yours. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, it is piano, I imagine. Kind of old version. It is klavishe. It is the jargon way to say it about keyboards. And uh, in your country you call it keyboard, keyboard. Klaviatura will be not really nice, maybe in a funny way you can call it, and in a funny, like, semantic association way you can call it. If you play a game of Elias or something miming, then you can call it klaviatura too. And uh, But in this way we call it klavishe. Also we have klavishe, actually, it is the buttons. Klavishe, it is buttons. I imagine that it is a button, but in a plural form, plural form of buttons. It is button, letter B, and if we have them one, I mean that two, it is, I imagine five different buttons, we can call it klavishe, okay? Klavishe locate, locate on klaviatura, okay? Buttons locate on a keyboard, amazing. And last tool, but not least, let's draw it. You maybe already imagine what will be. It is the mouse. Mushka. Or mush. We can call it. It is really translatable as a mouse too, like a Mickey Mouse. And uh, it is called this way, and here is the interesting tool it is the cable of it provot and amazing let's repeat all the words that we learned today first of all display monitor monitor okay computer computer system block or system <laughs> system box we can call it system block also we have the cables kabeli provoda provot один провод, one cable, and they have inside положительный и отрицательный заряд, positive and negative charge. Also have a charger for your phone, and it improves health of your phone, зарядка, in Russian language, CPU, or central processor unit, it is процессор, центральный Вычислительный процессор, we can call it also, <laughs> but okay, it is for next time. But we can also, you should remember E, V, M. In the mini of, uh, in the mini of technical vocabulary, technical like books, it is the word used a lot. Электронная, электронная. Вычислительная, вычислительная, it is a, на я, окей, машина, машина, it is electronic calculating machine, if we will translate it, like word by word, by this name we can call everything that has CPU or something like a thinking process inside of it, like transistors and other schemes. About schemes we can talk in the next time. It was the tutorial for easy words. And EVM, it is actually for hard word, like a scientific related stuff. Also we have телефон или мобила или смартфон. It is different types to call a phone, you can call it cell phone in your country, smartphone, and other ways. If you know how to call it too, let me know. By the way, we can sometimes say device. It is actually device, yes, but with a Russian tough accent. Also, we have the dude who works with computer. It is the computer, yes, and he is called computer master. Also, we have a lot of words like programmist, also, we have the person who works with electricity, it is electric, and others. And them you can find on 
dashboard or a thing called объявление, informational stand. And sometimes there are a lot of charlatans, cons, con artists and something like this. Be careful. But actually, if it is a good place with them, like you are on a meeting, like business meeting, networking, then you can believe it. Like if you will go to the business forum and there are a lot of like creative made informational stands, then believe it and you can take it. Okay. You, you, you know where to trust, you know where not super trust. Where to trust it is the locations when <laughs> you understand that it's kind of nobody from the a random person will not hang it here. And if it's a random person, then the possibility of it, it is not super big, like small, like 0, 0, 0, 0002 or 0, 0, 001. Okay, next, клавиатура, it is a keyboard. Also, we have the keyboard for a piano, it is клавиши, and also клавиши locate on a keyboard. It is the letter B, letter C, letter D, and others. And this thing, it is мышка, или компьютерная мышь. It is the mouse, mouth, mouse, not mouth, <laughs> mouse or a computer mouse. Okay, good. I think it's enough and we learned vocabulary today and I think it is productive for you, productive for me also because I repeated it inside of my head and also started my morning productive. Let me know what type of topics would you like to learn more, maybe some sentences or something. But actually, if you know these words, I highly recommend to watch Russian videos. Also, you can watch them on my Russian YouTube channel and my Russian YouTube channel called I will write it right now. One moment. Need to wear my 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 this thing, my glove, and I will write it here. My Russian channel called Vuychik. It is my nickname. V u i kratka chik. Okay. You can Google and listen to my speech if you are interested in Russian vocabulary that are used, because as I learn different languages, for example, I learn German, Indonesian, Spanish and English too, and sometimes it is easy to learn vocabulary from a dictionary or from a book and then go to the, to the listening and understand it through the way how it speaks, okay? And you can Google kind of in Russian way some computer terminology or maybe you are interested in programming you google it in russian language and then you listen to it and you kind of understand what's topic and what's related words to this topic mostly and so then it will be kind of fun <laughs> i think so and productive time so thank you a lot for watching see you next time and to prove bye bye you are a nice guy or girl see ya